Using Google Pay to pay for your purchases can be really convenient, but doing it for the very first time can be really intimidating. So in this video, I'm gonna show you the easy step-by-step -step process for how to use Google Pay to pay in a store. So before you head out, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have some cards set up in your Google Wallet app. So Google Wallet is the app you wanna check. So open that up on your phone and just make sure that you have the cards set up in your app that you want to use at the store. If you don't have them set up, check out my other video about how to add a card to Google Wallet, I'll leave the link right up here for you. So now that your phone's ready to go, you might be wondering which stores accept Google Pay. Well, now in 2023, pretty much every store takes Google Pay except for a few major exceptions. One of the big ones is Walmart. Walmart only allows you to use their own Walmart Pay app and Sam's Club is the same way. They have a special Sam's Club app that you can use. Lowe's and Home Depot are other really big exceptions. They don't take any digital payments of any kind. They only allow you to use physical cards at Lowe's and Home Depot. Another big one used to be Kroger, but as of April, 2023, they also started allowing Google Pay and Apple Pay in their stores. Another thing that's interesting to know is that you do not need internet to make Google Pay work. You do not have to be connected to mobile internet or Wi-Fi internet to use it. When you're checking out at the store, you're gonna click that you're ready to pay, and then you're gonna choose the option for pay with credit or debit card. There generally will not be a different option for Google Pay or Apple Pay. It'll just say credit or debit card because you're gonna be using that same machine that reads the cards. And when you're ready to pay, you're gonna pull up that wallet app on your phone. And when you see that NFC symbol at the top, you know that it's it's ready to pay. When you open up the wallet app, it'll open up to your default card, but you can scroll through and choose a different card. Just make sure that the one you want is the one that's showing. So when your phone's ready and you see that NFC symbol, you're gonna hold the front of your phone near the machine. For most machines, you're gonna be holding it right in the center of the screen, but some of them do have the sensor off to the side. And if it is off to the side, you'll see that NFC symbol off to the side. Remember, the NFC symbol looks like a sideways Wi-Fi symbol. Some machines only have four green dots and you're gonna hold it near those dots and you should see them light up when it reads it. And your phone will show you that big check mark and vibrate when the payment went through. So now you know how to use Google Pay to buy things at a store. Next up, check out how to use Google Pay to get cash out of an ATM. I'll leave that video right here for you.